Okay. Okay. <clears throat> There's one thing. Okay, so we have to go to Undyne. That's not why did Flowey help us now? Is he becoming that good? Is he becoming our friend or something? Because I've read about the pacifist ending when I looked up the Flowey fight, but then it was too late. The save file was basically gone, right? So I couldn't do anything about it. So I basically set my mind to, yeah, we will not get the true pacifist ending. However, Flowey gave us another chance. And this way, we can now go talk to Undyne, have some kind of uh, talk with her or something, and then we can get the true pacifist ending, which we will do now. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> I'm ready. Yes, let's hang out. Okay, stand behind me. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Bones. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one on one trading? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. <coughs> Hi, I don't think we have. Why don't you two come in? Uh oh. Can you remove that sword, please? Here, Undyne. My friend brought the gift for you, on your own. Uh, thanks. I will, uh, put it with the others. Oh god. So, are we ready to start? Oopsie doopsie, I just remembered I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. What? What? So, why are you here? Rub your victory in my face. To humiliate me even further. Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Yes. Really, how delightful I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you were my house guest, I would beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. <clears throat> Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you, but I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? That's... <laughs> Papyrus is a genius! Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? Ha! <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I will show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. It's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? I'm so confused. What the fuck is going on? Sit down in progress? Yes, please. <clears throat> Comfortable? I will get you something to drink. All set? What would you like? Hey! Don't get up! You are the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear! Um... What is this? Sugar goes in tea. Soda. A chocolate. Tea box. Tea, huh? Coming right up. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> it will take a moment for the water to boil. The sound effect. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. 
Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you choose you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a, si a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt... bad. He was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the royal guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight like uh, Papyrus. But um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let pa Papyrus into the royal guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's hes too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He would get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know. So um, maybe he could do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's, and if he's not here to have it, you will have to have it for him. That's right. Nothing has brought the pirates and I closer than cooking, which means that if I give you this lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. Afraid we're gonna be best friends. What? Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. Wimpy. You pet the vegetables in an affectionate manner. Oh my god, stop petting the enemy! I will show you how it's done. What the fuck? Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl, into bowl later. But for now, we add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But if, but I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. <laughs> uh, just put them into the pot. Careful. You place the noodles in one, in one at a time. They clank against the empty bottom. Nice. Alright. Now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Ah, let me do it! Um... That's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back.
left, you fool. This burner only goes one way. Ah, uh, let me do it. Um, see, this is how you... Um... Ah, man. No wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. Okay. So what's next? Scrapbooky? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. But people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends. That's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated, my house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out of both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. And then it's letting you make the first attack. Show me what you've got. Do your worst. <coughs> What's the matter, scared? What the hell is the hold up? Come on already. It's getting hot in here. Okay, I have to do something. Fake attack, you pretend to swing it undine with all your might. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force, you just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Ah, you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first I hated your stupid saccharine shtick, but... The way you hit me right now, it re reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart, just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight, but knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take your soul instead. That makes sense, right? Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. <clears throat> well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop a so drop by Snowden, alright? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, wait. It's a sudden, but can you... Hey, wait, your inventory is full. Ah, well, I'll be at Papyrus. Come see me when you have less stuff. What did you give me something? Oh, here. Um, so I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I, I need to deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so... I'll tell you. Hotland sucks, I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. Oh, and if you read it, I will kill you. Thanks so much, you're the best! No problem. <laughs> okay. Wow. Alright. I actually do know how I get there. So. Alright, alright. Let's just see, and that's ladder. 
door has no main slot. Slide the ladder under. Slide! Uh, oh, no, is that another ladder? I don't want to open it. Can I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's shut k kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. What was that sound? Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god, did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea you who could have... Oh my god, oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you um wrote that way. It's surprising too, after all that gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this. And so passionately too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go in it. What? What? Date? Dating start? Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. Oh, how do I look? My friend helped me pick this, pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of um. Anyway, let's do this thing. Uh, hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. What? Dating stop? Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection stati statistics first. This will increase the chance of successful outcome to the date. Right? Anyway, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. But, I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I... Um... Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start a date. Dating stars. Yeah, let's uh, date. Okay. Hello? Uh, do you... Like... Anime? Sure. Hey, me too! Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. The garbage dump. Here we are! This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Yeah, she's really... Um... Oh no. It's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes! Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Have you at least seen her? Yeah? Yes? So she's somewhere around here. Thanks, I will keep looking. Okay. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured you know... It would be fun to go on a, like, a cute kind of pretend, pretend date with you. To make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry I messed up again. And I'm the person I um, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, um, cool. But Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but... All I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If you get close to me, she will... She will find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth. The truth? What if I tell her the truth that... That she will hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? To say be yourself. 
but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. No, you're right. Every day I'm scared. I'm scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They will all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Let's roleplay it. Roleplay? It actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? I will be Undyne. Oh, right, obviously. <laughs> um, hi Undyne. How are you doing today? You're cute! Thanks! You say that to me a lot and I never know what to say. But I know you just mean it platonically because we're just friends. <laughs> uh, so I'd like to um, talk to you about something. What is it, Alphys? Um, you see, I... I haven't been exactly truthful with you. You see, I... Oh, get it. Undyne. I, I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and strong and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always do your best to make me feel special. Like telling me what you that you'll beat up anyone that gets in my way. I'm dying, I can't take this any longer. I'm at love for you. Hold me, I'm dying. Hold me. What did you just say? Uh I'm dying, I was just Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute, what's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes, I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but I mean, actually, we were only romantically roleplaying as you. What? I mean, I mean, Undyne, I. I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was like scientifically important. Really, I just, I just wanted more, like ice cream and those humans uh, who were just dorky uh, comic books and the history movies. Those, those were just uh, anime. They aren't real. At that time, I told you I was busy with work. I was just seeing uh, what? Alphas. I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted to think. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That it wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphas. Undyne, I, I really think you need, okay? Alphas. Um. Alphas, I think you need to, I guess. But you've gotta realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to me anymore, anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. And then you... You're gonna train me? <laughs> She's the blush! What, me? Oh god, nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Get those bones shaken! Time to chop 100 laps. Hooting about how great we are. Ready, I'm about to start the timer. Uh, Undyne, I'll do my best. Oh my god, he was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Enemies real, right? Sure. Haha, <laughs> I knew it. The Gatic Swords, Magical Principles, here I come. Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> okay. 
no idea where we go now. Howdy! If it isn't my good friend who trusts me. Papyrus, your awesome YouTube friend. Alphas and I finished our training early, very early. So I sent her home. Very home. <laughs> now, I feel strongly and for no apparent reason, you should also go there. To her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. What? The note from Alphys. Read it? Sure. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that right now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. What the fuck are we doing here? Warning, warning. What? Elevator losing power. EM tether stability lost. Altitude dropping. Okay. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster soul last. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what, we, what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power. Determination. Two levers, Tori. It's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator lost power enter the center door. That's all you could read. Power room. Buy chips for 24 gold? No, thank you. I don't need it. Escrow asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They are still comatose and soon they will all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish then... Freedom might be closer than we all thought. It's kind of sick. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? It's kind of dark about the Elfus. He's like so cheery and everything, but now it's like... We did like basically human experiments in that sense, right? For our own species.
drain dropped it. That's all you could read. It's some kind of switch. There's a red colored slot in the center. Okay. What? Ghost? Uh. Something drew near. Check. No data available. Take out your cell phone, you can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. Refuse. Oh well. Ah, oh, fuck off. Spear. There's a red key lying in the sink. You took it and put it in your keychain. Okay. Click the red key fits perfectly into the slot. So we apparently have one done. Oh yeah, this is open now. So perfect. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I will just keep injecting everything with determination. I want it to work. One of the bodies opened its eyes. An empty dog food bowl. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Wait a second. You'll need a vessel to wield the monster souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters. Just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Is she talking about Metaton? Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever, they were hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let you go. Or is it flowy? Because of the flowers down here. Fucking hell. Mr. Fly. He did something mysterious. What the fuck is going on? Hum. You hum a familiar tune, but no one heard you. What the fuck is going on here? Pray. Remembers his conscience. What the fuck? Pick on. Oh, it seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. It's like multiple creatures in one. This is like so fucking weird. It's so creepy. 
There's a note in the ground. Cold. That's all you could read. Okay, cold. That's. Should we eat something? Let's. In here. Take an ice cream. I want bicycles, I want to keep those for um, other things like flowers. For other things like uh, the, the, the boss fights later. Because I apparently have to do Asgore all over again. Which is kind of a hassle, but you know, it is what it is. Seems like this research was a dead end. At least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asko, returned the vessel to his guard, and I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. No, 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 no. Oh, oh oh god what the fuck is this creature there's a green key lying in the bathtub it took it to put in a keychain nothing serious fucking hell Lemon bread. Um, you have a familiar tune. Lemon bread's body shakes. Welcome to my special hell. Ouch. Okay. Paul, oh, you called for help, but nobody came. Flex. You flex your arm, Lambret's muscle shakes. You think I'm pretty? Sure thing. Ouch. Ouch. It hurts. Cry. That's what they all say. Fucking hell. Hey, give me something to eat. God, man. So fucking annoying. Scream. What the fuck? Fuck off, man! What the fuck do you want from me? Don't lose hope. So, stay determined. Okay, we're gonna have to go to get the key again. Got it? We'll do this real quick here. So screaming changes something. Right? No, it didn't do anything, apparently. Untuck. 
Okay, let's lemon bread, bread be. Lemon bread Steve shake. Nothing else happens. Scream. Oh, come on. Scream? Okay, we did unhug, we did flex, we did scream. We can hum. Then it seems to remember something. I felt this before. Snowman piece back. Give me the nice cream. Get out of here and give me the nice cream. Have a wonderful day. The extraction machine status inactive. Looks very creepy. Alright. This is VHS player with a few tapes picked out inside it. Tape 1. Gory, wake up. What is it? And why do you have that video camera? Shush, I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Aww, carrots, right? No, 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 my favorite vegetable is... Edda mom me? Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm. I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a Momeranian. <laughs> you sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this... One day you could be a famous momedian. <laughs> well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on. Sorry. That one was funny. This is... Is it Asker and Toriel? I know, I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. But dear, perhaps it is too dark in here for the video cam. Come on. Okay, Asphalt, are you ready? Do your creepy face. Oh, Asphalt? Oh, wait, I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. Asphalt. Smile for the camera. Ah, this time I got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. What? Oh yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for that, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter. But we accidentally put in buttercups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. If 
felt so bad. You made mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? What? I don't like this idea as well. What? No, I'm not. The kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I would never doubt you as well. Never. Yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I will go get the flowers. Fuck. Aswell, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Aswell, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. So please wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. No, I said... I said I would never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? I asphalt. Under sheets. That's weird. Mostly cartoons of some kind. We don't have anything here. The yellow card slot. We don't have yellow. Let's just move on for now. Oh, yeah, got that. I click it again for some reason. What the fuck? Hello? Curtain. That's all you could read. Yes, we got this one. The green key fits perfectly into the slot. Got this one, that's absolutely fine. I'm just looking if there's like another hidden way or something, but it doesn't look like it, so we'll just have to go back. There's a path to the right as well. As I remember. Yes. Perfect. So we need two more, right? Entry number 11. Now that Metatons made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention every time I try to work on it. I just get really sweaty. I'm so confused by everything here. And the next one, let's go! Um... Help? The am am amalgamate? What's... What's going on? Um... Beckon! You called it. It bounced towards you, flecking a strange liquid from an orifice. Okay... Fuck. Play. Not excited enough to play with, okay. What is going on? Oh. I pet it. You pet it, it convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Suddenly it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Please not do that. Could you stop making that sound, please? 
quickly. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The amalgamate brings it back to you proudly. You repeat this process a few times. Our amalgamate is very tired. It leans its stripping amorphous body on you. more? Seems too tired to play, okay. A bit confused what to do. Head. Start to generate a stage 1 happiness froth. Oh my god. Always this shit. You pet the side of the album and it seems to be satisfied by all this. And energy? You won. I'm so confused. Okay, maybe we can go back here now. There's nothing in here. Okay, we see what's going on here now. It's empty. It's of some kind. Asko left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asko. There's a monster in there, right? Nothing in there, okay. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Come on. Come on, man! It's so cold. Joke. You told the bad pun about Snow, her expression starts to shift. Haha, <laughs> I remember. You told a bad pun. The expression changes more. Haha, <laughs> thank you. What's going on? She's completely calmed down. You won. Found the blue key. It is, this was the green one. Okay. So oh, wait a second. Read this one. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. Poor Alphys. I understand that it's absolutely shit, a shit situation for her. Because she just wanted to help, but it didn't work the way she planned it. Okay, so we go to the right now here. It's still one missing, but I don't know where. Like, the blue key fits perfectly. Okay. Apparently it's under a note, but... I don't know how this is meant. Because, because there's a shit ton of notes, as you could see. The bad. Yes, it is. Let's just click on everything. Something under the sheets. Oh, yeah. Not under the notes, under the sheets. I made a little mistake there, apparently. <laughs> My bad, guys, sorry.
But there's no monsters here, so that's actually pretty nice. Pretty calm, everything. Okay, now we should have everything, so we have to go back to the beginning. We should be able to see what's going on here. Okay. Save up here. Seems to be turned off. Seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. Yes. Shit. Hey, stop. I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. Um, anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on, but it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you, but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. They might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asker asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called Determination. I injected it into dying monsters so the souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of Determination. The bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me, and I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I had done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard, being honest. Believing in myself, I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it will be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on guys, time for everyone to go home. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I wanted to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live. It's flowery, as I thought. The flower's gone. It's a voice you have never heard before. Asphal, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you have done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Asphal, see you soon. What? Was it Plowy or or Asgore? I 
I'm so damn confused. Can you get a save point, please? Oh shit. There's no save point left. Jeez. Oh, you. Very good, very good, okay. Let me get a uh... cell phone, the puzzle box. Take the ice cream and take the astronaut. Oh. Okay, we take just the ice cream. That's fine. Okay! We have to fight again. Back so soon. How are you feeling? I'm ready. I see. This is it then. Yes, this is it. Ready. Strange light fills the room. While it is shining through the barrier, it seems your journey is finally over. You have filled with determination. Human, it was nice to meet you. <clears throat> Goodbye. What? What a miserable creature torturing such a poor innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous, and ultimately it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I have been trying to prevent this whole time? So for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Take in six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human ever comes. Tori, you're right. I am a miserable creature. But do you think we can at least be friends again? No, Asgore. Asgore, human! Nobody fight each other! Everyone's gonna make friends with Elsa! Oh, oh no, my heart! I will... Hello, I'm Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It's nice to meet you. Uh, yeah? Nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? <laughs> Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Hey! Nobody hurt each other. Oh, are you another friend? I'm Toriel, hello. Hi, there's two of them. Oh, Yira, come to court. Hey, nobody fight. No hey, nobody fight anyone. If anyone fights anyone, then I will be forced to ask Undyne for help. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello, your majesty. Hey human, did Asker shave and clone himself? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Boys. Hello, I think we may know each other. Oh hey, I recognize your voice too. How is it? Sorry that I pause you for a second. What the fuck is Thanos? He knows the royalty basically, like her, and he also uh, worked for for Asgore, I think. And uh, like like he also threatened us basically that he would have killed us right away and stuff. 
like the way she um she greets Sans right now. Why did she not greet uh Undyne this way? Because Undyne is the leader of all the guards, right? That's weird. Oh wait, Antoriel, she is the one he told jokes to, right? They both told each other jokes. Versance uh, told us about uh, all of this in the, in the uh, restaurant. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans. And uh, say, oh, wait, then this must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowie, I can't believe Asko's clone knows who I am. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. Hey, Papyrus. What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm, snowproof roof tiles? No, silly, a skeleton tiles his roof with? Fingles! I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. Come on, Asgore, it's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, Asgore. And I'm totally right about that fish thing. Sometimes you've just got to, uh, stop going after furry boss monsters and, uh, Let's get to know a really cute fish. The metaphor. Well, I think it's a good uh, knowledge. Oh my god, will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up. <laughs> no, that guy. Right, Alphys? Uh, Alphys? No, he's right. Let's do it. Well, uh, I guess if you want to, then... Don't hold anything back! Wait! Not in front of the human! <laughs> right, sorry. I got a little carried away there. <laughs> My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you have made, I think... I think you will be happy here. Hey, that reminds me... Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know how to call everybody? Let's just say, a tiny flower helped me. A tiny flower? What? You idiots. While you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls. Fuck, do I have to fight him again? I thought he helped us! And now not only are those under my power, but all of your friend's souls are gonna be mine too. <laughs> and you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. Huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you will win the game. If you win, you won't want, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I will hold victory in front of you, just within your reach, and then tear it away just before you grasp it. Over and over and over. <laughs> Listen, if you do defeat me, I will give you your happy ending. I will bring your friends back. I will destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You, I'll keep you here no matter what. Is he just like sad to... Be alone? Even if it means killing you one million times. Come on! I can't move! Come on! What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. Oh, that's right, human, you can win. 
Just do what I would do. Believe in you. Hey human, if you get past me, you can do anything. So don't worry, we're with you all the way. Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on, this weirdo's got nothing on you. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him, but somehow I know you can do it. <laughs> you mean for the future of the humans and monsters. You have to stay determined. We're with you too. Oh god, everyone! How cute! Oh no! Unbelievable. This can't be happening. You... You... I can't believe... You're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine. Come on, Flowey! Why are you doing this? Is this Asker's son? Finally. I was so tired of being a flower. Howdy, Aswell. Are you there? It's me, your best friend. Asriel. Dreamer. <sighs> Fucking hell. end hope you held on to your hopes you reduced how much damage you will take this turn okay we got this dream you think about why you are here now you can feel the empty space in the inventory get smaller and smaller. You know, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. Holy shit. Hey, you saber? What? After I defeat you and gain total control over the timeline, I just want to reset everything. hurt quite a lot all your progress everyone's memories I will bring them all back to zero oh 
Alright. Then we can do everything all over again. Chaos Buster. It's fine, it's fine. And you know what the best part of all this is? You will do it. The fuck? The fuck was this? Then you'll lose to me again. Oh, fuck. And again. Breaker two. Okay. And again. Ouch. It hurt quite a bit. The absolute god of hyper death. Because you want the happy ending. That chaos slicer, please don't do that because you love your friends. Ouch, one HP. All right, because you never give up. But it refused. What? You held on to your hopes. What? But it refused? Chaos Slicer. Keep hoping. We keep hoping. One HP? Wait, what? Nice cream? This is the sweetest you, you cut 15 HP. Isn't that delicious? The determination, the power that let you get this far. It's gonna be your downfall. Alright, good. Hypergoner? <laughs> what the fuck is Hypergoner? You kept holding on, damage reduced. Now, enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. HP, even after that attack, you're still standing in my way. Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this. What? Okay. 
as we're blocks away. Struggle, can't move your body. <laughs> Behold my true power. No! Yes! Struggle. I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here in a world where no one remembers you. The whole world is ending. Still you're hanging on. That's fine. In a few moments you will forget everything too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. Come on. Okay, fine. I can't do anything else, I can only struggle. Haha. <laughs> Still? Come on, show me what good your determination is now. I can't do anything! Can't move your body, nothing happened. You struggle, nothing happened. You try to reach your safe file, nothing happened. You try again to reach your safe file, nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But maybe with what little power you have, you can save something else. I can save them! Oh no! <coughs> I'm gonna save Papyrus. You reached out to Ezra's soul and called out to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? Between the depths of Ezra's soul, something's resonating. The lost souls appeared. <clears throat> you told, told the lost soul a bad pun about skeletons. He seems to hate it, but the other lost soul seems to like it. I must capture a human. Just give up, I did. Oh god. Fuck, sorry. I told this lost soul a bad pun about skeletons, he seems to love it, but the other soul seems to hate it. Then everyone will. Why even try? Well, we got this! The music is so, like, motivating. I love it. Puzzle! You ask the lost soul for help with a puzzle. He doesn't know why, but he really wants to help you. You will never see him again. Fuck! You yeah, asked the lost soul to cook something for you. Suddenly the memories are flooding back. No wait, you're my friend, I could never capture you. Nah, I'm rooting for your kid. Oh ha! <clears throat> Both of them are saved! Can we save Undyne and Elphys next? Within the depths of Astro's soul, something's resonating. The lost soul appeared. Take it! You tap the lost soul slightly. Something's about the way you fight is similar to her. All humans will die. Smile. You gave the lost soul a big smile like you remember she likes to do. For some reason she sort of wants to smile back. Oh no! You are a real enemy. Come on. You ask the lost soul to teach you how to cook. Suddenly the memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay I guess. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god! If 
feel something resonating with an Astral. Gonna say, uh, Alpha's. No doubt, the Ethel also what her favorite cartoon is. She can barely hold back from giving you an enormous answer. You hate me, don't you? No! Oh god! It's okay, we got this, we got this, Alphys. Don't worry. Oh god. I'm almost crying here. Encourage! You tell the lost soul that you will continue to support her. Something up with the way you said that is familiar to her. I've got to keep lying. Call her. You call the lost soul on the phone, so she starts to sweat. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. No, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you too. Oh. I saved Asgore. And. Okay. I want the tutorial last because she's like. I don't know. I feel like she's the, the, the last bastion. You refuse to fight the lost soul. Something about this is so familiar to her. This is for your own good. Forgive me for this. Talk. You tell the lost soul that you have to go if you're going to free everyone. Something is stirring within her. No one will leave again. This is my duty. guys. Hug. You hug the lost soul and tell her that you're going to see her again. Something about is so familiar to her. Oh, it is sad. Oh, fuck. Come on. Tell the lost soul that you won't hurt him, no matter what. Only the memories are flooding back. Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. You feel your friend's souls resonating within us as well. Save someone else. Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul. Stronger and stronger. It seems that there is still one less person. It needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> be serious. You feel your friend's souls resonating within Azrael. Save Azrael, Dreamer. What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no, I don't need anyone. Holy shit. You stop. Stop it, get away from me. Do you hear me? I will tear you apart. But do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? That's so sad. I'm doing this because you're special, as You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. No. That's not just it. I... I am doing this because I care about you, Asfa. I care about you more than anybody else. 
That's so fucking sad. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. Er ist einfach nur traurig, wenn sein bester Freund verloren hat. So please stop doing this. And just let me win. Stop it. My life, my HP. Stop it now. I can only save him anymore. As well. I'm so alone. Oh god. I'm so afraid, as well. As well. I. I. I'm so sorry. I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, Asphalt? You're not actually Asphalt, are you? Asphalt's been gone for a long time now. Um, what... What is your name? Risk? That's... A nice name. Risk. So, <laughs> give me a second. Um, so the name you pick. In my case, Asphalt. Is the human I'm playing right now? It's it was the human. Asphalt was the human. Fell down before me. That he met and he grew up with. That later died the human. Where he then did go to the uh, the overworld basically and. Um, Got attacked by the humans and also died then. And this human I'm playing right now is called Frisk or something. Frisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's soul inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every mo other monsters as well. They all care about each other so much. They care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Elthus, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. <laughs> Frisk, I, I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. W what? Risk, come on. You're you're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power, with everyone's determination. It's time for monsters to finally go free.
Broke the pet, broke the barrier. The barrier was destroyed. Risk. I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I will stop being myself. I will stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with people who love you. The people who love you. Fortune. Come here. Oh. I don't want to let go. Risk, you are... You're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, my time's running out. Goodbye. By the way, Frisk, take care of mom and dad for me, okay? Oh, why are you doing this to me? Risk, this is all just a bad dream. Please, wake up. Oh, you are awake, thank goodness. We were so worried. It felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer that I would have freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you made Pyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just caught something in my eye. What did you catch? Tears. <laughs> no, no. The important part is that Frisk is alright. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? will make you feel better. Uh, how about we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. Though from what? I'm not certain. Risk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower and then everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead us there now. Before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk? can say goodbye to all of your wonderful friends. Do as you wish, we will all wait for you here. Oh God! Does it ever stop? everything that's happening
Why? Because it ends. That's why. Okay. I think we'll just, uh... We'll just go. Hello, Frisk. Alpha has upgraded my phone. I'm having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the queen has returned. And also that she's a huge dork. You two are two feet away from each other. Why are you texting? <laughs> Worry not, Papyrus. We're texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. Sans, please do not say that. You're not a dork. You're more of a bonehead. Haha, <laughs> wow. Those puns are even less funny coming from her. And why are you smiling? It's a pity smile. Miss Tori was telling me how she made butterscotch candy for you. Oh, I should bake it for everyone sometime. Oh, that sounds really good. Cooking? Can I help? Wait a second. Can I help too? <laughs> Certainly, it would be fun to cook together. On second thoughts, maybe I'll order a pizza. <laughs> so, Asgore, how about making me a member of the Royal Guard? Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard. And... What? Then what was the point of the human's quest? They traded all that way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard? Truly, this is the worst possible ending. So, Alphys, what do you want to do now that you're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Well, of course I'm going to do, go out and, um... No, I should be honest. I'm gonna stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. That's the spirit, everyone. A celebration to being losers. <laughs> Papyrus has the right idea. Losing to Frisk is the best thing to ever happen to me. Oh, I'm glad that we... Huh? What is it, Asgore? Um, what's an um, anime? Oh my god. Risk, please help me explain what anime is to Asgore. You see, it's like a cartoon, but with swords. So it's like a cartoon, but with swords. Golly, that sounds neato. Where is this? Where can I see the anime? Hold on, uh, I think I have some on my phone. Here, look at this. Oh, um, um, that's the, that's the wrong, uh, never mind. Golly, were those two robots kissing? <laughs> oh god, Alphys. Boy, technology sure is something, isn't it? Yeah, shit sure is. Howdy, Frisk. Sorry about almost trying to take your soul. I feel very bad about it. I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everybody's tried to kill Frisk at least once. Oh, I see. In that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. Asgore, that's not what I meant. I could run around and uh, talk to other NPCs and stuff, but uh, this is way longer than I expected it to be. So I'll leave it here. If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. I'm ready. I'm waiting. Oh my, isn't it beautiful everyone? Wow, it's e even better than on TV. Way better, better than I ever imagined. Risk could live with this? The sunlight is so nice and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. He sends, what's a giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowie. I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun. I 
could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Risk, I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Yes. Yeah, Frisk will be the best ambassador. And I, the great Pyrus, will be the best mascot. I will go make a good first impression. Well, someone's gotta keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! Hey, Undyne, wait up! Whoops! Uh, should I do something? Well, gotta go. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Risk. You came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? I want to stay with you. What? Risk. You really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. Well, I suppose if you really do not have any other place to go. I will do my best to take care of you, for as long as you need. Alright? Now come along! Oh, everyone is waiting for us. Oh. This was insane. This game is crazy. All the monsters. Papyrus got his car! Then. No Drake, Ace Cap. Gift Trust, Doggo. Dogami and Dogaressa. Lesser dog, greater dog. <laughs> hey, Onionson! <laughs> oh, what are those two doing? Dead. Aaron Moldvik Washua Tammy Mad Dummy Tyron Metaton! Napster Block! <laughs> Vulcan and Sunderplane! Uh, 
Her rope and Muffet. Royal Guards. Final Frogget and Whimsalot. Titten. Magic and Night Night. <laughs> Amalgamates. Ascor. The Monster Kid. Oh, Toriel. It's cool. Monster School. Haha, <laughs> did you really think it was over? I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all of this for good! What? What the fuck? Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> That's the point here. I'm getting dizzy here looking at that. I'll let it let us run through and then I'll I'll talk a little bit, right? Touched credits. <laughs> thanks to friends and family for supporting us, and Undertale team thanks you, the player, from the bottom of our hearts. Without you, all of this would be impossible. Good night. Holy fuck, this game. The end of Undertale. Okay, I don't know if something is coming still, but I'm gonna talk a little bit.
Um, I don't know what to say to be honest. This is an absolutely amazing game. Well, a lot of good stuff, obviously, about this game over the years, and it's quite old by now, obviously, but... Even though you hear so much about the game itself, if you really go into it and play it yourself, it's really, it, it just tops that by a, a lot. Like, that's insane. It's so fucking good. I love this game, especially the whole dynamic and the whole decision making and everything. It's everything completely new, where you don't really see it in any other game. With the pacifist route, for example, okay, we can choose to do this one. And also, it's um, as I've said before, every single boss that you met, that you meet. If it's any other game, right, you meet the boss and this boss has like one new mechanic, right? You have to destroy his armor to, to damage him actually or something like that, right? But here, every single boss has like, has like, has like five new mechanics, new styles. Your heart changes, right? You're not, now your heart is blue. Now you have to jump, now you have to stand still so you don't get hit by blue attacks and all of this stuff, right? Against Metaton, your t heart turns yellow, you have to shoot suddenly. And all these different mechanics is... It's amazing. So many new ideas and everything. I absolutely love this game. There are two more things I want to talk about. Number one... I will do... Um, the Genocide Run. Even though it fucking hurts to, to kill everyone and everything I'm seeing after just playing the pacifist route. Like, it's hard, but we're gonna do that. I will also cut the genocide run a bit more, I think. So we are not having, like, this entire run. Every, link, every little move and everything, right? But... I will see about that, how I do that. I don't know yet. And number two, there's also another game, the follow-up from Undertale, which is... I don't know how it's called, I'm sorry <laughs> about that now. But I will most likely play that as well, but after the Genocide Run. So I will do the Genocide Run first. I thank you all for joining me on this on this journey, on this wonderful game, and I really hope to see you next time. Yeah, <laughs> it's very, very late right now, but it was totally worth it. Thanks for everything. Have a nice evening, have a nice night, day, whatever. See you next time, right?